What is going on guys, it is your boy Demi and I'm back with another Raptors video today. And in today's video, I'll be talking about bold predictions the Raptors can get this season or some predictions that I have for the upcoming seasons. If you guys are new, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe and make sure you watch the full video because I got a lot to say today. The first prediction I have for the Raptors this season is I know that Fred Van Vliet and Pascal Siakam are your main 20 points per game scores. But I think Scotty Barnes will get to a 20 points per game threshold. Why I think Scotty will get this? Because last year he averaged basically over 15 points per game on decent rebounding and decent three point shooting. And if you extend that, I think he'll get better as a player. And for what I've seen in the preseason game, he'll just really capitalize on that and even the preseason game today. And basically, Scotty will just basically be a man among the boys and just basically be a problem for the league and many years to come due to his upside potential and basically the grouse in his game. But Scotty Barnes, he basically worked on many things this offseason. He worked on his post game, he worked on his shooting, he worked on his defense, he worked on many aspects he wants to improve on coming to the season. And I think he'll basically just flourish in that and basically develop along the season as it goes along for 82 games. The next bull prediction I have is the Raptors will make a trade at the trade deadline. What trade will the Raptors make? I don't know if it's for Shea Yellows Alexander, I don't know if it's for Miles Turner, but they will make a trade at the trade deadline. I'm telling you that because from a Saturday jury, if he sees that his team can go far and can make an extra push, he'll make that trade. Like for example, when he made it to Marcus All trade to trade deadline, trade for Valanciunas and a couple of picks that Toronto dealt the O to Memphis now. But Masari Jerry, if he, if he feels like he'll pull the trigger, he will pull the trigger. And that's honestly for Masari Jerry being the best GM and general manager in the NBA. As Masari Jerry basically always active at the trade deadline, whether it's swapping out picks, whether it's swapping for players, whether it's something he needs for a team, he'll basically get that push and just get it done. My next bold prediction for the Raptors this season is Chris Boucher or Precious Chua will get sixth man of the year. Why I think Chris Boucher will get sixth man of the year? Because last season he basically had a rough start. But for how he played in Tampa, I think he'll basically just look at he'll just look at his season like that. And I think honestly, Chris Boucher will just put the work the work in and just basically get better as a player. And he'll basically get back to where he was in Tampa when the Raptors were away from home, and he'll just basically play to a low high level of efficiency. And for Petra Chua, what I've seen for Petra Chua in the last preseason game, this guy basically went off and just basically wanted to be the team's primary scorer. And I think Petra Chua, he has more confidence getting to rim. He has more bounce on his feet. And he just has more athleticism overall for what he worked on in the offseason. I think Petra Chua will basically give you about 10 to 15 points per game per night and give you about the same 30 to 40% from three. And he'll basically work on his finishing and basically rebound the ball to efficient rates. I think Petra Chua, he'll be, he'll be right where he left off for last season and just capitalize on it for him being a key role player off the Raptors bench. The next bold prediction I have for the Raptors is the Raptors bench will be better than last season because the Raptors for the last two seasons, they had, they had a decent starting lineup and basically their bench was pretty much giving them nothing. As for the Raptors, they finished last in bench scoring for the last two seasons. And I think that will change because you added guys like Otto Porter, you added guys like Wancho, you signed guys back like Thaddeus Young and Chris Boucher. That's four key players that can you, that you can fit in your rotation. And I think the Raptors will just capitalize on that and basically just play together the group. And I think the Raptors bench mob will be back for many years to come. And they basically just keep getting better their team and as a group as a unit because they need this bench to basically capitalize if they want to get far. And I think the bench will probably do that for what Nick Nurse and the Raptors development staff are emphasizing here. And I think the Raptors development, they'll basically get the bench to basically product more points off the bench and giving the star the easy load on some nights. My next bowl prediction for the Raptors, I have the Raptors winning at least 50 games because the Raptors last season got 48 wins last season when many people thought they'll get below 40. I think the Raptors will just shock the media world and just basically shock all Las Vegas odd betters because the Raptors, they always shock people and they always play above people's expectations and they're a team to watch this season. I, I love watching the Raptors and they'll basically just be a good team to watch and they'll basically just cause all teams problems and havoc for the league. And that is pretty much it on my bowl predictions for the Raptors this season. And if you all want to check out my takeaways or bowl predictions I made for the Raptors, at the beginning of the season, make sure you check that out. And if your boy Demi, please subscribe. Help run the road to 200 subscribers. If we can get to 200 subscribers by the end of the month, yeah, I very much appreciate it. I got Raptors content coming out every day. And it's your boy Demi. I'm signing out. Have a great black day, y'all. Peace out. Boucher on the take. And the reverse. No. And the putback by.